Hello and welcome back to Abstract Linear Algebra, the video series where we talk about some advanced topics in linear algebra. And in today's part 47, we will discuss the very important spectral theorem for normal matrices. Roughly speaking, it tells us that every normal matrix can be diagonalized by using a transformation matrix which is unitary. And indeed, we will see that this is related to the sure decomposition we have discussed in the last videos. However, as always, before we go into the details, I first want to thank all the nice people who support this channel on Steady, here on YouTube or via other means. And please don't forget, with the link in the description, you can download a lot of additional material for the videos. And now before we start stating the spectral theorem, we should first recall what a normal matrix actually is. In fact, a normal matrix is necessarily a square matrix. And as always, the entries in the matrix can be given by complex numbers. And now in some sense, normal just means that the adjoint of this matrix is nice. And what I mean by that is that the adjoint A star commutes with A. Hence, a star a should be equal to a a star. So this is the whole definition of normal, a and a star simply commute. So maybe you didn't check for this normal property so often, because most of the time we consider some special normal matrices. Indeed, the most popular case are so-called self-adjoint matrices. There, there is no difference between the adjoint and a itself, and therefore they definitely commute. This means the spectral theorem we discuss now also holds for these self-adjoint matrices. Moreover, in a similar way, skewer-joint matrices are also normal. This is also easy to see because there is only a sign involved. And finally, the last important case of normal matrices you should remember are unitary matrices. These matrices are always invertible and the adjoint is actually given by the inverse. Therefore, also in this case, we see that the normal property is satisfied. So you see, we already know a lot of normal matrices, and now I want to apply the sure decomposition to normal matrices. However, please first recall that the sure decomposition tells us that every square matrix can be triangulated. And most importantly, this can be done by using a unitary transformation. This means we have a unitary matrix U and we can write U star AU and we get an upper triangular matrix out. So this is already a nice result, but it would be even better if this upper triangular matrix was a diagonal matrix. And in fact, we have a special name for that. In this case, we would call the matrix A unitarily diagonalizable. So let's put this into a definition for square matrices. So A is called unitarily diagonalizable if there exists a unitary matrix U that brings it into diagonal form. So this means we have a matrix U and the same formula as in the sure decomposition. The only difference is now that the output is even simpler because it's just a diagonal matrix. So all the entries except the ones on the diagonal are zero. And please note that we already know that an implication of this is that we have the eigenvalues of the matrix A on the diagonal. Indeed, the eigenvalues cannot change under such a transformation and therefore we find them again on the right hand side. Moreover, this also means that inside the matrix U, the columns form eigenvectors for the matrix A. This is really easy to see just by multiplying with u and cancelling this u star and bringing u to the right hand side. Moreover, since a unitary matrix has an O and B of Cn in its columns, we also see that a unitarily diagonalizable matrix necessarily has eigenvectors that form an O and B of Cn as well. This means this is already a restrictive term because not all matrices satisfy this. In fact, the spectral theorem now tells us that only normal matrices fulfill this condition. Or in other words, you could say the normal matrices have the nicest sure decomposition. Indeed, the spectral theorem is a statement about diagonalization. So let's immediately formulate it. We have the following equivalence. 
the matrix A is normal if and only if it's unitarily diagonalizable. So the normal matrices and only them can be diagonalized in this nice way with a unitary matrix. Therefore, you can remember here, for normal matrices, the sure decomposition is actually diagonalization. And as already mentioned, this is actually a hard restriction for the eigenspaces of the given matrix. Indeed, as we can see, unitarily diagonalizable is equivalent of having an O and B consisting of eigenvectors. More precisely, we want to have an O and B of the whole space Cn with respect to the standard inner product. Hence, this is what we get as a corollary from the Spectre theorem. This means for a normal matrix you can choose n eigenvectors that form an O and B of Cn. And also vice versa, if this works, we necessarily have a normal matrix. And exactly this is the reason why normal matrices are nice to deal with. And moreover, it also holds for the special cases of normal matrices like self-adjoint and unitary matrices. All of these matrices can be nicely unitarily diagonalized. Or in other words, we have enough eigenvectors directions and we can always choose n eigenvectors for an O and B. Okay, so you see, this is a really important result and obviously, therefore, we want to prove it. However, it will take a little bit of time, so let's discuss that in the next video. I really hope we meet there again and have a nice day. Bye bye.